Mustang faculty, if you are trying to set up your gradebook on frontline teams um, and it's it's brand new to you or it's you know been a whole year since you had to go through this process, I am hopefully going to make you a quick video that will help you to understand what to do. So from your home screen, you're going to go into maintain teacher gradebook category. You're going to choose whichever course or section that you're going to start with. I'm, I always just start with my first one. Uh, you're going to set the filter. Make sure it's 2021. Choose the course. Set the filter. It doesn't really matter what filter you choose. I just always choose the very first one. Save those options. And this is where your screen might differ from mine a little bit because mine is set to all work. That is the district recommendation. Uh, it's not the district enforcement, but it's the district strong recommendation set to 100. You'll have to type in the scale value as 100 and then count as one. That's the district recommended setup. Now, some of you might be saying, that's not how our department does it. That's not how I do it. First of all, whatever you do is what the department needs to do. So if your department decides to use uh, homework as 50% and a project as 25% and quizzes as 10%, you have to make sure that A, all of those add up to 100. Okay, they can't be over 100, they can't be under 100. The other thing is you have to make sure whatever categories you use, you use them every six weeks. If you put in projects, but then you never assign projects, then it's gonna skew the grades. Or if you put in projects, but on the third six weeks you don't use a project, it's going to skew the grades. We've had big trouble, especially at the high school level, with kids losing out on scholarship opportunities. Uh, the class rankings have been mi mixed up uh, and messed up because it skews the grades. So, one more time, the district recommendation is all work and 100. I will show you how to count quizzes or tests or projects as more when we get to entering the grades. But like I said, it's district recommended right here. You heard it straight from me. You're gonna go do that for every single class. Make sure everything's set up the right way. I will say I would not delete these others, like classwork, group work, homework, journal. Don't delete them because then it's a hassle to get them back should your department change their mind or something like that. Just make sure they're all set to zero and all work is set to 100. <clears throat> Back at the top of the same screen, this is where I put in my assignments because I put in my assignments at the start of the week and then fill them in throughout the week. So I'm gonna click on gradebook assignment. I will show you another place you can input an assignment. I'm gonna show you this first. And then you add a task. You're gonna fill in the category. Mine is all work because that's what ELA does. And um, I give my kids a clean slate grade at the start of every six weeks because I want them to work to keep a 100, not have to earn it from zero, okay? You can change the assignment date, the due date. <clears throat> Make sure your scale value comes in at 100. If it doesn't, just type it in. Max value 100. Um, <clears throat> if you set it on the, the previous screen, it should pop in there, but if it doesn't, uh, that's okay. And then if you have an assignment that's worth more than uh, 100 points, like you give a bonus question, maybe it's worth 110, you can fix it there. Uh, this week we're also going to have a student interest survey. That's due today. And then, oh, sorry. Fill in 100, 100. And then <clears throat> we're gonna do a Dear Me letter. And that'll be due on Friday, okay? So I do mine here, uh, but like I said, I put mine in for the week. Okay, make sure scale value and maximum value are in there. And then there are two places you can save yourself some, some time and some energy. If you're just doing one task, like you're, you put in your task a daily, you can copy task from here. So 
If I want to make sure that every single class gets a clean slate grade, I'm going to make sure all these boxes are checked and then I'm going to copy it. If I go into a different class like eighth period, I should see clean slate there. If I um, but if, I, if you're like me and you want to put in all the tasks at once, then I also probably want to copy all of them at once. So there's another place you can copy assignments. You can copy from here or you can copy from here. If you click on the tab at the top, it will show you all the assignments you have listed so far. I know that I need to add these two. And notice you can do add all. So you could technically put in all your assignments for the whole year if you wanted and you can choose which classes you want. I'm just holding down the control button and clicking. So I'm going to add the assignments. I'm going to add the classes I want those assignments to go to. And I'm just going to hit copy. All assignments have been copied. If I go into a different class, fifth period, I should see, oh, and go back into textbook teacher gradebook assignments. I should see them already listed, okay? So that's how you put the assignments in. When it's time to actually grade the assignments and put the grades in, you click into the class. Now you see right here um, the different uh, tasks. Now all my tasks are basic um, participation grades this week. So I can put it into all, like everyone's going to get a clean slate, and it'll give everyone an all. Uh, if Aiden does, uh, turns in his assignment, he gets a 100, but let's say Ladarian hasn't turned his assignment in. There are some special codes that you can use. If you put in a zero, it's hard to tell, did he just not turn it in, or did he turn it in and it's all wrong? So we do have some special codes that I'll include in the email with this video. One of the ones that automatically counts things to a zero is an M. It stands for missing, so watch what happens to the average when I put it in. It lights up red and it changes the average. There are other codes like ABS that don't count against kids. It just sort of excuses them from the assignment. Like I said, I'll put that list of codes in um, the gradebook or in the email with this video. And then always make sure that you save. Remember, this is where you can email parents. You can also email students here. Uh, you can get to attendance uh, from here. You can run reports. You can do all sorts of things. Now, I can already hear some teachers saying, but I don't want everything to count the same. So I'm gonna go back. I forgot to tell you this earlier. I'm gonna go back. So let's say I wanted to count that student interest survey as more than um, one grade. Maybe I wanted it to count twice, like a grade, or like a um, quiz grade. In my class, homework and basic assignments count once, quizzes count twice, essays and tests and big projects count three times. Right here on the count, you can change that to count twice. You can change it to count three times. You can change it to count as many times as you want. You just need to make sure that uh, parents and students understand what that means, okay? So if I do it that way, then, um, and I would recommend changing that before you copy assignments, but if you wanna do it that way, you can, and then you don't have to worry about percentages. Percentages on grades are hard for kids to understand how they got the grade that they got. Um, and so it, it, it does make it easier to set it at 100. Last thing, some of you uh, may do your grade book this way. You can add assignments from here. So notice I've got my three assignments, but let's say mm, in, in second period, we played a game in the last 10 minutes of class and I told them uh, if they figure out the game or if they solve the puzzle or whatever it is, I will give them all a free 100 in the grade book. I can add, I can go to that assignments tab at the bottom of the actual grades and just add it from there. And then return to gradebook. Now it's right here. OK, 
okay? So you can also add assignments from here, and then you just copy and do the same thing. If you have any questions, please let me know um, or talk with your departments um, and we will get you set up. Remember, two grades per week minimum uh, go into Teams. Any other questions, let me know.